<laughs> my son told me that his, his five-year-old son is a jokester. So he says to Matt, what did the bird say when it was surprised? I don't know, Mimo, what did he say? He said, what the peck happened? <laughs> <laughs> so that's been my motto, you know, what the peck happened to me? You know? There was a CAT scan, and they said, well, you do have a tumor on the occipital lobe of your brain. Maybe just starting with bringing to mind an experience of gratitude. Bringing up the face, the place, the whatever into your mind and then letting that feeling into your body. This open, relaxed feeling. Just Shakyana for this moment of something wonderful. When I was little and I went to Quaker summer camps, you know, our prayer was every morning we sat on the dock for half an hour in silence. Just gave me such a sense of peace. So I think my love of meditation came from that. Without this practice, you know, without this practice, without the years that I put in, I don't. I don't know how I would do this, you know, I don't know how, but the kind of really working on the mindfulness, um, I found that so helpful. You have your story that you're not gonna die and that you kind of are in control. And then this happens and you realize that's not true. Wow, you know, I'm looking at that, that's going to be me. There's a big struggle there of accepting a totally different story than the one you had. I'm living my life the way I want to be living my life. So to say I'm dying doesn't feel like what I'm doing. <laughs> 